You know what? It looks like a super, super mason twist. Nice, Steve. Look at that. Look at him smiling. Wow. Nice. Good kid. Here's the range of motion. How many was that, kid? Nice. So what? Write it down. Come back, try to do more. Nice, Steve. Here's what Steve's doing. Watch, right? Stability ball. You might not necessarily need one. Because this is hard. I'd like his pelvis to me more. Pelvis to me, dude. There you go. Good. Other side. He lost his smile. Let's see if he gets it back on this side. Nice. Straight that leg over there, Tin Man. Good. Good. Kit, what number you on? Plus 13. Yeah, 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 find it. Good, legs closer together if you can. Fight, engage the core. Flex the quad. That's clean. You're going to notice that one side is way off. The other side feels like a rock. What do you got there, Dano? What is going on, everyone? Uh, wrapping up here for um, Saturday. Totally thought it was Friday all day. I don't know why. It's, it's noon now, but... This has been an awesome day, and so far this is kind of a reply to a video I shot yesterday with a confession. Um, so hopefully you watch that before I'll, I'll, I actually haven't uploaded it yet as I'm shooting this, but I'll get it up. Just kind of talking about what's been on the last like week, week and a half, where I've been, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know where I've been, but so with that said, today, uh, I'm taking the action. I've been reading a book I really, really enjoy so far. I mean, I've read a lot of different books, but um, this one in particular is really just making me think. It's really opening my, God, that hurts, opening my mind up uh, and really allowing me to work on bettering my life. And, and that's kind of part of what I was talking about yesterday is, you know, where I've kind of, I fell off a little bit in my the whole P90X2 fitness, whatever, for like the last week, week and a half. You can kind of get the recap in that video. Um, I've been reading um, Steve Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and uh, I'm loving it. I'm not done yet. I'm only into the second habit, which is like the second or third chapter or whatever, but uh, amazing stuff. I mean, beyond anything I've read before. Uh, I used to think things like, you know, How to Win Friends and Influence People was a good book, and it is good, it's good principles. But it's also, in a way, kind of superficial, sort of, uh, if, you, if you apply it incorrectly. Um, and Stephen kind of hits on that a little bit. I mean, I don't know if that's the book he was talking about exactly, but he hits on that kind of superficiality of, of some of the materials out there. They're great information, but they, they kind of, like, for example, kind of tell you that, oh, to win friends, pretend you're interested in what, you know, let them talk, pretend you're interested in their life when you're really not. Right? I mean, it takes genuine interest to really care, but some books out there might make you think that you can just kind of go out there and just kind of pretend and things will work out for you, and they might for a little while. But anyway, so I'm up to this second habit, and that's what I'm putting into action. After you check out yesterday's video and kind of my confession and what's been going on and whatever, um, today what I'm doing is applying those habits from now on. Uh, I'm really going to start applying those into my disciplines, into my daily uh, life into my daily routines, all that stuff. By the way, I love this thing. Um, I just I did uh, my uh, scheduled workout today for P90X2. Got back on track um, today. Was uh, balance and power, and then I finished it up. I went outside and did just like a two mile run. Nothing fast. I was using my Merrill flat foot barefoot shoes, and I threw in three sprints just to kind of get the heart rate up. Added kind of an interval effect. So I did that, and now I'm cooling down. Um, so anyways, two habits, I'm going to let you go. Two habits. The first one that is pretty powerful, makes perfect sense, is kind of going beyond being conditioned, conditioned response, going beyond um, 
uh, blaming others, you know, accepting responsibility, being proactive, not reactive. Love that philosophy. Being proactive in situations, being proactive in your health. Example, um, a reactive person might just never work out. They don't do anything. You know, they just keep doing their job, whatever, keep neglecting their, their, their body, keep neglecting their health. Well, come time when it's a heart attack or a stroke or, you know, diabetes or whatever, then they have to react to the situation because they put themselves there, right? Um, and that's totally cool. I mean, maybe you're there. I mean, I'm not picking on anybody that's maybe come to that situation. All kinds of circumstances come up, but um, what, what matters is, is that you, you realize where you're at anytime. Today, moving forward, you become conscious, aware, uh, just like Stephen talks about in the book, kind of the, the natural human endowments, endowments that we all have is being conscious, having self-awareness, having imagination, creativity, being able to change our own destiny, really. Um, and that's the side of being proactive. Well, what's proactive in your health and fitness? Doing what I do. Showing up, doing what most of you out there do. You show up, you get your workout in, maybe you go for a run, maybe you do some P90X, whatever. You are being proactive in your health, right? You are being proactive in keeping your body conditioned and in great shape. Um, and that's what's most important. You're being proactive in life, being proactive in everything that you do. Um, very, very important stuff, being proactive in your nutrition. Instead of waiting for diabetes, maybe you start cutting out the sugars, processed foods, all that trash, and, uh, and that's it. So proactive is kind of the first half that I'm working on. I love it, and that's what I'm doing today after, after yesterday's update. I'm being proactive in my, uh, in my fitness, and I'm just getting it done. That's what i got to do. Um, same thing with my business. I've got a whole list. I've got things I've got to do. I'm prioritizing things the best for me that works best for me. So I'm um, trying to figure that out myself. But um, second thing... Uh, oof, ah, God, is begin with the end in mind. My lats are always sore. I always get knots and pressure points and all that stuff in there. Uh, but beginning with the end in mind. Oh, I love that. And of course, Steve's philosophy is he starts you right out with really grabbing your attention with saying, you know what, picture the end of your life, right? You're at your funeral. What do you want people to say? And I say that stuff quite often. It's kind of the philosophy I try to live by. Oftentimes I get caught up in things and I kind of forget the bigger picture. But try to live life like, like today's your last day. What do you want your story to be? Because ultimately that's what you're writing. Every single day, every action you take, every moment, every thought, you are writing your own book. You are writing your story. What do you want your story to say? And that's where you can begin with the end in mind. Because if you know what you want your story to say, you can begin to be proactive in the actions that will help write that story, that will help you take the actions that are necessary for you to, uh, to give or to do or to, to have uh, greatness, to have effectiveness, to, to uh, touch people's lives, whatever your purpose is. Because if you know what you want your end to be, then just like Steve says, you know what values to live by. It allows you to see what your values are. And if you're not living that way, then that's where you can see. That's where you can use your self-awareness and begin to be proactive in what you do. So that's as far as I'm at so far, and that's what I'm trying to put into play. I highly, highly recommend that book. Check it out. Um, amazing stuff. I gotta go take a shower. But um, so, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. Check it out. Um, and that's it. So I'm kind of back on now with P90X2 next week, starting clean, fresh, just. You know, going right at it. Going to extend the first phase a couple weeks. Probably finish up January with, with phase one. That's it. All right. Be proactive. Start with the end in mind. Start now. Do what it takes. Jason Crocs are here. I'll see you soon. Ooh, final thing. Forgot about this. New challenge starting uh, February. February first. We got a new challenge group starting up. Um, usually, I take about five people every month starting a group. Well. Doing that this next month, uh, we are going to start out, no matter what program you're doing, there's, there's some requirements, there's some commitments, but it's really a way for you and I to work together, for you to stay extremely accountable because you'll have a small peer group of people. Well, I'm not going to get too much into detail, that's something you can ask me if that's something you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa I want to be part of an accountability group, I want to have that, you know, a couple different people that are really holding me accountable, I want to have that peer support, I want to have that, I want to have the total solution. Um, if that's you, then, then just send me a message, you can go to the Facebook page that I have. I'll put the link in the video description. 
check that out. February 1st it starts. It is the 14th that I'm shooting this video, so a couple more weeks, but it's important that you get to me now because the spaces will fill up very, very soon. I'll be putting this on Facebook and mailing it out here to my list here soon. So um, I'm kind of putting out this, this out here to my YouTube channel first. So if you want to be part of it, find out, uh, well, email me, and I'll get you the details. We'll talk about it, see if it's right for you, and, and whatever, we'll go from there. So February 1st it starts, but get to me now. Uh, that said, that's it. I will talk to you all soon. See ya.